All right, uh, my name is Tom Sodland. I'm a producer here at Paradox Interactive, and I'm working with our, all our third party titles, which includes Majesty 2. Okay, so Majesty 2. Uh, for those that didn't play the original game, can you just shortly describe? Well, if you haven't played the original Majesty, you have missed uh, a great game. But in essence, uh, Majesty is about, uh, it's a real time strategy game, uh, but the it's indirect control. So you have a number of units, uh, heroes actually, but they um, they have their uh, a will of their own. So you, ha you have to motivate them with uh, uh, mon monetary incentives in order to get them to do what you want. Uh, and the other element that is core to the to the Majesty um, franchise is um, humor. It pokes fun of the sort of fantasy genre as such. A lot of references to. Um, Monty Python and popular culture and so on. Uh, Majesty 2 uh, takes place uh, a, a few hundred years after uh, the original game and um, a number of kings has, has passed since you were the original um, Majesty of, of uh, the Kingdom Ardania. And, uh, but then came a king called Leonard and he really messed things up. He uh, summoned a demon which uh, overpowered him and took over the kingdom. So when you turn up to uh, take the role as the new Majesty for, for Majesty 2, uh, the Kingdom Ardania is uh, uh, ruled by, by this demon and you have to take it back piece by piece. Uh, the, the story behind why Paradox did uh, the sequel to, to Majesty was um, Paradox Interactive has always been focused on strategy games and we actually, actually posted on the Paradox forum uh, to our users which of the of older strategy games uh, that they would like to see a new version of. And uh, Majesty was one of the top uh, suggestions. And uh, we contacted the, um, the publisher and developer of the original game called Cyberlore in the US. And the brand was available and we um, proposed to them, uh, sort of had a suggestion for, for what we wanted to do with the game. And they got excited, and we got the brand, and now we're working on, on the sequel. How close have Paradox been working to the original developers? Actually, the development of, uh, of Majesty 2 is done with a separate team. Uh, it's developed by, by a developer called Inoko, based in Krasnodar in the south of Russia. Uh, but we worked closely with members of the original, original Majesty team, uh, including uh, George Ledoux, who did all or, or most of the voiceovers for uh, the original game. We're working with him in, in the sequel as well. And also uh, Brian Johnson, uh, who worked on, on the original game. He's, he's uh, helping us out to make sure that uh, the Majesty 2 world is sort of consistent with the, the original Majesty world. What's new compared to the original game? Well, there's a ton of small differences between Majesty 2 and the, and the original game, but uh, I will highlight a few of them, uh, the most important ones. And they are uh, multiplayer. Now you can play uh, not only against uh, the computer, but you can play up to four people, four players against each other. Um, and then we've modified the core uh, gameplay mechanic of, of flags a bit. So in the original game you had the exploration flag and the attack flag. But now you also have the protect flag to protect buildings of your own. And you have the fear flag if you want to sort of prevent your heroes for, for going in certain areas. You can, you can use the fear flag. But then uh, the biggest, uh, the immediate difference for, for uh, anyone who played uh, Majesty 1 is that we have sort of taken the game to this century sort of with new graphics, uh, modern AI, better sound, all that. Anything we should know about the monsters that our heroes are up against? Well, similar to the heroes, uh, some of them are old uh, and you'll, you'll recognize them from the original Majesty game and some of them are new, but all the usual suspects are there, so we have the bears, the rat men, dragons and so on. Uh, but there's a few new um, monsters as well and one of my favorites are the, the lava elemental and the earth elemental, which are big, rocky uh, monsters that just float around and cause mayhem. So you mentioned multiplayer. What can you tell us about the multiplayer mode? Well, uh, Majesty 2 allows you to play up to four people 
uh, against each other over a local network or across the, uh, over the internet. Uh, we're using the GameSpy arcade system to um, enable matchmaking and players to find each other. And we hope also to have um, online high scores and uh, tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, and also with the game we, we uh, bundle a number of multiplayer uh, maps that are sort of specifically designed for, for multiplayer uh, battles. Uh, will there be modding possibilities with Magis 2? Yes, uh, there seems to be a big interest from, from the, um, by, by judging from our forums on, on, uh, on modding Majesty 2. So yeah, there will be a modding kit. Uh, it will be released as an expansion. With the, the name we have right now is called Adventure Maker. And it will come uh, a, bit a bit after the, uh, the release of the game. But it, it will allow you to uh, create your own maps. Uh, that's pretty simple. But you can also create your own battle units uh, if you are more skilled with 3D um, animation tools and so on. So are there any changes regarding heroes in Majesty 2? Yes, absolutely. There's quite a few changes to, to heroes uh, compared to how, how it was in Majesty 1. Um, a lot of the original heroes remain, but some are gone and there are, there are a few new ones as well. Uh, the biggest change is actually that you can upgrade heroes. So. Warriors can become blade masters, uh, and rangers can become uh, marksmen, for instance. And these upgrades become available later in the game when you can build temples in your kingdom. So, are there big differences between the heroes in Majesty? Absolutely, there are very big differences. Everything from very powerful, almost brutish uh, characters like uh, the warrior or the, the blade master, um, to more nimble but clever characters like uh, the cleric, um, and which are in the beginning they are so um, uh, weak that, they, that, that you might have to protect them using the protect flag in the game in order for them not being killed too early on. But is it worth it to have that kind of weak characters? It is, because uh, as the clerics upgrade or become, they le level up, they become more and more powerful and uh, eventually become a very essential part of your, of your uh, hero force. The, the different heroes have different personalities and some of the hero classes are actually incompatible with each other. So for instance, you shouldn't put dwarves and elves uh, in the same team because they won't get along very well and small things like that. Your kingdom awaits you, sire.